Hey folks, Krusty Old Marine. I'm with you here tonight. I'm doing some reloading. I was going to show you some uh, how I do precision reloading without a precision scale. Um, I won't say it's totally precision, but it's the best I can do uh, with the tools that I've got. I use three scales. Um, hopefully in the near future, I'm going to be getting a super trickler, but uh, loading up some uh, service rifle ammo. I've got a uh, four days of matches coming up this week in Oak Ridge, the uh, Charlie Smart Memorial. We've got a practice round on uh, Thursday, and then on Friday we have the team match, uh, which our Marine Corps League shooting team will be shooting in that, along with uh, the AMU, the Marine Corps shooting team, Marine Corps Reserve shooting team, and uh, several civilian teams. Saturday we've got an NRA uh, XTC match, and then Sunday uh, CMP uh, EIC. So four days of shooting, a lot of ammo to get loaded up. Uh, one of my last videos, uh, showing you some of my load development and uh, how that came along. I'm not going to really share the load with you today, but uh, I want to show you my process and how I'm using these three scales. And we'll do a little bit of a review on the three scales. One of them's not really a scale, it's the Frankfurt Arsenal IntelliDropper. Um, yeah, it's a little slower than just throwing it by hand, but I think it's pretty accurate. So uh, let's look at the process here and these three scales. So my process here, I've got uh, the Frankfurt Arsenal and Teledropper loaded up and uh, been using that thing for, I don't know, uh, I guess it's coming up close to a year. I like it a lot, uh, a lot better than the uh, Lyman uh, Digital. Uh, that thing was a piece of junk as far as I was concerned. And I'm using this Frankfurt Arsenal. It's called a Precision Powder Scale. Um, it's got an auto shut off after 180 seconds, but uh, I must have that turned off because this thing's been on for about four hours today and uh, hasn't shut off. It's got a capacity of 1500 grain or 100 gram. Accuracy is supposed to be 0.1 grain, like most of the digital ones that you get on the lower end. And um, it's got a tear fun uh, function and a stability indicator. And the third, um, the third scale that I'm using is this Hornady, um, I think they call it a pocket or mobile. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I don't have the box for it any, anymore. <clears throat> My reloading buddy Steve, the one you saw saw me making bullets with, he suggested that. One night I was reloading and uh, I guess it was when that lineman uh, took a dump on me. And uh, I had to have something and I ran up to uh, Bass Pro Shop and got that on his recommendation. That thing is a really good scale. Um, so let's, uh, so let's, uh, show what we're doing here with that. So what I'm doing, I'm throwing my charge here and then, uh, I will check it on the Frankfurt Arsenal, uh, powder scale, and then also check it on the Hornady, the little, uh, mobile one, the pocket one. And like I said, that one seems to be a lot more accurate. Uh, then slow process. Yes. I put it in with a funnel, make sure all my powder's brushed in good there, and then I put a completed shell over there in the shell holder. Um, but I was going to show you really uh, kind of the difference and why I say this one is more accurate. Hopefully the Frankfurt will accommodate us and show kind of why it's jacked up. So I want to throw a charge with the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal and Teledropper. Um, yep, says stable right there. We'll throw the charge. There's the charge and it's stable. So I'll take that off. Now I'm going to check it over here on the Hornady scale. It was 24.3 there over here on the Hornady scale. I've already taken, I didn't zero that that way, but I know it's 218.3 grains with the scoop. So that's showing 218.3. And I'll bring it over here to the Frankfurt Arsenal. And I will have to Put that down for you guys to see in the Frankfurt Arsenal. Okay, this time it's showing 218.3. It usually reads about one high. And I don't know if you guys can see me here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this in. Um, kind of my method right now for getting a, quote, precision reload is I'll weigh it on two scales. And if two scales gives me the charge that I want, 
that I'm good to go. If the third one's off a little bit, well, we will uh, just chalk it up to, you know, something's a little bit off. But, you know, it's not a super trickler. It's not an auto trickler. So this is about as accurate as I can get. Let's throw another one and see how it comes out. So it's stable at 24.3. Just check it over here on the Hornady. 218.3, right on the money. And the Frankfurt Arsenal. The Frankfurt Arsenal drifts a lot. It's showing, well, it's showing 218.3 right now. I'll get you guys a shot of that. There's 218.3. And, uh, you know. Why it's not cooperating right now, I don't, well, okay, look, now it just drifted, of course they'll all drift, I moved, I, I created some air currents, but uh, showing 218.4 now, and like I said, it usually reads about a t uh, tenth of a grain higher, this one over here, I get my process messed up trying to talk with you guys, really not smart trying to reload and talk, because I don't have the computing power to do that. The brain, the processor power. Don't want to get anything screwed up. Now, I didn't talk much about the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal IntelliDropper. Uh, let's cover that for a minute, too. Uh, it's got a nice size hopper to it. Um, it's very easy to clean. It is very stable. It drifts a little bit, but gosh, I'd say I maybe have to re-zero this. Uh, <sighs> maybe once an hour and as far as how good it is you know this thing throws an accurate charge i'm going to say 99 percent of the time um i've never well i won't say never uh maybe once i've had it throw a low charge and it'll tell you low on there um it will throw a high charge by about a tenth of a grain and it seems like it'll throw one one maybe every 60 or 70 rounds um that's not bad at all not for what that thing costs that uh in my opinion you know for a uh i won't call it a low end but a for a medium priced um digital you know powder hopper uh powder dispenser this thing i think it's the best on the market uh, like i said you know here in another month or two, I'm probably going to get the uh, Super Trickler. Uh, but, you know, it's a pretty healthy investment with the scale and uh, and the Trickler itself. And hopefully it'll be a little bit faster than this. This thing's not, I wouldn't classify it as slow, but uh, it could be faster. But anyway, I've been really happy with it. You know, happy as a pig in poop. You know what I'm saying there. So anyway, that's what we got on that. Uh, you can see all the modes on it. Uh, these buttons weren't clear to me, so I wrote dispense and clear on it. And, uh, yeah, I've been real happy with it. Oh, and another thing about the Frankfurt Arsenal is it's not bad. I don't know if they've got the, uh, the trickler tube. I don't know if they've got it on a little bit of an elevated angle, but it's not bad. You know, if I bump the bench just a little bit, it's not very bad at all about dropping powder. Uh, every time that I go back to put the scoop on. Um, you know, I check the plenum, make sure that it's clean. If it's not, I just take that little brush and brush it off. Uh, it seems like if I blow on it, then, you know, a few grains will fall out of the, uh, trickler tube there. So, uh, brush works better for me. And, uh, but yeah, I've been really happy with that. And I'm happy as a, you know, a pig in poop. So anyway, I just wanted to make a quick little video for you guys tonight and, uh, kind of show you the difference here on these three scales and how I do it. You know, I use three. Uh, I'm checking every five rounds. So the timeout on the Hornady works really good because I'll check it. Yep, the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal is still throwing a really good charge. Uh, I'll do four or five, maybe six rounds. And when the Hornady times out again, I'll just punch it back on. I'll just cross check it again and make sure that I'm still on my selected charge weight. But uh, yeah, as far as these scales, I really like that Hornady. I think, they, I think that thing is a, it's a great bargain for the buck. Uh, the Frankfurt Arsenal, mm, I don't know. It's uh, it's not bad. It's a reasonably 
price scale, but it sure does seem to drift a lot. So uh, anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you tonight and just show you uh, that quick little process. And like I said, you know, I'm, I'm rechecking it every five, six rounds to make sure I'm still in the zone there. And, you know, from that test and uh, the rounds that I've been shooting since then, my SDs, yeah, they're probably running in the eight and a half to 11 range. So I'm pretty happy with that for now, uh, given this equipment. So until the next time, guys, remember kids, X's win matches. Keep the greasy side down. Catch you next time.